do it. <laughs> Recording in progress. We missed you. <laughs> so, where we left off. What happened? What did y'all do? Hold on. I gotta Just get my dice back fear. in the back. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I have lots of dice. So, of the, okay. Where we left off, you all had gone on this self-appointed mission to find the remains of what, or, and the story of what happened to this hidden town of Vermeillon up in the mountains that 70 years ago fell into disarray from the destruction of a mine, disappearance of town members, riddled with nightmares. Until eventually, whoever could, left. And no one knew what happened to those who went missing. You arrived on the outskirts of this... Mm, ruin of a town. Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> and could not help but notice the eerie silence, the overgrowth, and an impending sensation of being watched. For the sake of, of ease, you split the party. Uh, Mimi, Kindle, you had gone around with Jinx, looking at what you could, seeing what you could find, and you found a lot of empty buildings abandoned and could not shake this feeling of something here. Hairs on the back of your neck standing up, feeling like you see something move out of the corner of your eye, but you look and nothing is there. You run into Ling and Renji jumping out a window of the biggest house um <clears throat> where they're like you know what we're leaving we're gonna we're gonna plant these flowers at the grave and we're gonna go so you joined kindle or kindle and mimi and renji all went to go place the flowers at the gravestone as requested by the tavern keeper while ling just hightailed it out of town not knowing that some of the creatures in the town were waiting for someone to go off on their own. A oh boy. fight took place. Renji was able to catch up because monk speed uh, and help keep Ling from dying. And Kindle <laughs> and Mimi, you arrive as the last of these hard shelled uh, pincer jawed face uh, cl clawed creatures fall at your, the blades of your friends. And that is where we left off. Well, actually, we really left off with them going, fuck that. We're going to camp <laughs> in the woods. So. <laughs> yep. Yep, 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 yep. Whether or not you decide to continue to expo explore Vermeon, find out what you can. Um, Ling and Renji have gained some information that they can share with you. You can keep exploring. You can take this short rest that you're taking now to decide if you're just going to say fuck it to the rest of this chapter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll probably take a take the short rest and just discuss what happened. So. Mimi and Kindle can catch up on the information. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, just you wait. Oh. Stop. Maybe Ling can come down from the paranoia. <laughs> <laughs> so this getting is close. It's getting close. You guys are outside of the town now, back into the woods, and it is close to dusk at this point. Are you setting up a camp, or are you just chatting? What's happening? Um, Benjamin would definitely set up camp as quickly as 
possible. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Setting up camp. Outside. We'll just... <laughs> outside <laughs> the town. Outside of the <laughs> yes. town. Very far outside of the town. Where we no longer feel like we're being watched. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to roll to see if Ling is still paranoid. Uh, that's a three. That's a, yeah. Still paranoid no, as fuck. About to say, like, the answer is yes. No. <laughs> I love how you guys just joined and you're like, I'm already paranoid. What the fuck are you describing? <laughs> um, Minjun will pipe up. Um, first of all, Ling, um, get some water on you, some tea. I'll, I'm, I'm burning some tea. It will relax you. And you just calm, calm, calm. Ling, Ling, look at me. Look at me. You're fine. We're fine. We're out of the town. Yeah, they're still here. They're all around, man. I will slap you again. How about we don't all slap around. each other? You know, the, the fuck uh, this shit. I grab out the hole, and I open it. <laughs> last was up. Last was up. And I'm jumping in. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I can at least keep your fucking eye out this way. Fine, we're keeping it open, though, so you can at least breathe. Yeah, we're keeping it very, very open. <laughs> While they deal with that, so, um... It appears that spirits, uh, certain spiritual shenanigans have uh, caused... that were awakened um, in the mines uh, caused the mine to collapse. Any survivors were basically hunted and psychologically tortured until they disappeared. So it's a curse. You kind of? No, no, it's the fuckers that are all around us. <laughs> you, just, you just hear pipe up from the hole, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi's trying to win this bet. The other, like the other day, she was like, "Okay, y'all place your bets on what it's gonna be." She's trying to win. She's like, "I'm placing my bet it, that it's a curse." It's less of a curse and more just a prolonged psychological torment. It seems. Well, if it's like like spiritual stuff that awoken at a certain point by the people, that sounds like a curse. It kind Randy, of does sound like you, a curse. Randy, just so you know, if you remember, the book said that the creatures are actually fey, Norigen. Uh-huh. Thank you. Um, well, the creatures are fey, so I don't know what to tell you there. And they live underground! Underground? That's a fucking attitude curse! I don't... I'm, I, I, I think I was right. I, 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 would, I would like to say it's less of a curse and more just prolonged, demented cycle. It's how they reproduce! That sounds like a curse! Yeah. Ah, people, wait, how are... they reproduce? Huh? Oh, the people who disappear. Lane just come pokes their head out. <laughs> yeah, yeah the people they who like disappear. turn you into themselves after scaring you to death. I don't fucking know, man. But they're all fucking around. Drop back into the hole. Ew. Yeah. Um. Basically, when you disappear, you become one of them. Mm. Ew. Yeah, so that wait. sounds like a curse to me. That's a, that's a curse! I win! She's like, she's looking for high fives and probably doesn't get any. Kittle, <laughs> Kittle will give her a lot of <laughs> So, okay. So, are the creatures that were the people, are they now fey energy? Yes. Because I don't think that would make them full on fey, but they are fey like. They are now fey like creatures. Yes. Question, DM: How yes. long has it been since the battle? The end battle, right before we left. Um, I mean, you had time to set up a camp and okay. start this conversation. You guys would have had More a short rest. More than an hour. Okay. Well, I was I was only referring to my uh, my daylight drift globe. I was wondering if yes, that was still yeah, active. that would be that would be done. Mimi is more comfortable again. Yes, thanks. <laughs> yeah, they don't like sunlight. Oh, that's relatable. Very much do not like sunlight. 
Uh, they need sunglasses. At night, even. <laughs> oh. Dicks. Ew. Okay. So when y'all Listen, were jumping... that was almost me last week, okay? <laughs> so when y'all were jumping out of the window, what were y'all jumping from? Uh, those. Those things. Those, those, oh, just ch- those? Those, this, those chitinous creatures. And <clears throat> we didn't really want to go through the house again, so Link jumped out. And I jumped after. Okay. Before it started. Okay. Um. Oh, is this? Mm-hmm. Oh. You... Yep. That's what you saw. Mm-hmm. That the the corpses you saw on the ground that Ling and Renji were standing over were that. They feed in and out of existence, man. That ah. makes me uncomfortable. All around. To quote uh, a new like horror movie that's just come out, nope, <laughs> <laughs> nope, um, nope. <clears throat> but we did find some interesting items. Oh, uh, oh, friend, uh, 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 bling, show them a shield. It's pretty. <laughs> All you see is just a shield poke up out of the hole. <clears throat> Ooh, nice. It's a it's a, a very large steel shield with platinum um, details, uh, and the details form serpents, I believe. Yes. And w- winding serpents across the across the surface. And these two short swords match. Ah, okay. Interesting. Do you guys think they've been here the whole time, or do y'all think that they were, like, added later? They were hidden under the floorboards. I found this in the same room. Anybody need to swim? And you see a little a little ring come up and out of the hole and probably land on the ground next to you. Never to be seen again. Lost in the ground. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, shit! (laughs) Maybe we'll pick up the ring. What do you mean? What does it do? It's a ring of swimming. Does it like help you swim and not like drown? Gives you forty feet, uh, forty feet of swimming speed. Oh, that would be nice if I wasn't like prone to water. Uh, <laughs> Kindle, <laughs> fiery babe, yes. does, does water hurt you? I'd imagine so. <laughs> DM, would it hurt me? <laughs> Not the same way <clears throat> running water hurts Mimi. It's not like you're vulnerable to it. It's more uh-huh. of like you just kind of like smolder a bit. <laughs> All the better to get you out of it. I mean, you've, you, you've <laughs> been in like the bathhouses. You've used sure. the... Yeah. Uh, I mean... Uh, you and fell asleep in a tub once and it just kind of turned into a jacuzzi. And, <laughs> and you also were on a boat that was on a running river, so... I, I just think I would get a little dim, but I'm I should be okay. I would you like a little swimming ring for a little little swimming fit? Sure. She'll take. It. <laughs> um. What are also... you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing with perspective. Look at these tiny little people. Ooh, now they're big people. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, little, have little, the little bunny rabbit. Ah, oh, yeah, it's a little bunny rabbit. <laughs> Boom! Boom, man! Boom. Oh shit! I didn't uh, see what he did. <laughs> I mean, I can do three of them. Oh, Ayo. nice. <laughs> and was like, I'm so disappointed. I'm <laughs> so disappointed in you. I still have, so I still had like all the photos up on the thing because I pulled it out of my gallery, and I was reminded of I sh- I was sending some of these to uh, Brian, and I also sent one to Mitch. They've added something with Hero Forge. You can mm-hmm. put two figures on the same stand. Yes, I saw Mitch. that. I was like. Like, really? these are th- these are two sets of. This is not like the one I sent to <laughs> Mitch specifically was a couple of the NPCs from one of my characters, but like, oh my god, is 
Reza and their sibling Alex. The second photo, who remembers my my her tortle mercenary Bryce? Yeah. I think I do. That's Bryce with his adopted child. <laughs> That's awesome. Both of which I've played. <laughs> Wow. This was really I was cool. having way too much fun doing that. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, yes. Also, oh. I made this. Continue on. Mm -hmm. um, you hear a loud thunk as a, a large iron ingot also hits the uh <laughs> the floor of the forest from out of the hole. We also found ten of these! Ooh. That's cool. That's the fucking edge, cool. The, the edge beveling is fucking amazing. Mm. I didn't do that part. I was being supervised. But <laughs> Still, that's awesome. Made that out of railroad spike? Yeah. Awesome. Wow. Railroad spikes are great for, uh, for start and forging. My already... my arms and lats were sore and my wrists were sore for like three days after I forged it. It takes a lot of effort. Oh, oh yeah. Sure. For those of you who are wondering if you're watching this, I, I forged my own knife. It was beautiful. Sela <laughs> did that one. Oh. It's a pony horseshoe. I love it. Nice. Very cool. Fiddle. It's not a stab, it's a stib. <laughs> it's a stib. <laughs> but it is very, very sharp, so... Yes, it is very sharp. Amazing. Let's I, 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 I want to forge my own sword. I really do. You can probably... <laughs> find somewhere to do it or we can give you where we did ours and see if they do lessons gatlinburg tennessee so if you ever if you ever got the opportunity to go to gatlinburg tennessee <laughs> with all due respect why the fuck would i want to go to tennessee it's, it's actually really nice I, mm. it's actually very nice it's like mm. a bunch of mountains in the middle of nowhere where you can listen to granola music like the oh hellos and fleet foxes we saw Those elk. Were words. We saw elk. elk. <laughs> they, literally, nice. we parked the car, and elk walked right by our car. We could stick our Neat. arms out of the window and touch them if we wanted. That's to. Cool. We wanted to. Did not we because didn't. we do not mess with the wildlife. <laughs> no. Kind of reminds of us. The, reminds me of the deer we have here. <laughs> Listen, anyway. white tails are supposed to be. Prey behavior. They're supposed to not to, to, to hide and run from predators. But we have Valley Forge National Park. Yeah. So instead they sleep under your windows and eat your garden. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Poor babies. And my father used to chase them out of the yard with the cars and they would stop and look at him like, the fuck do you want? Like they <laughs> wouldn't move as a car came towards them. <laughs> Awesome. Right. Almost like a deer in headlights? <laughs> no, because a deer in headlights suggests fear. They were annoyed. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Dad. I hate them so much here. <sighs> So anyway, an iron bar lands at y'all's feet. <laughs> uh, also, don't forget, Ling and Renji, what you guys found in the room right before you left. Yes. Yes. Um, off the top of my head, I cannot remember exactly... Um, I found a handful of letters, uh, including one with a, a wax seal that was still sealed. And I found this journal, uh, probably from the P 
people that are from the masters of the town. So if we turn this into the people that we spoke with, I'm sure that will be sufficient enough to say, hey, this is what's fucking you guys. Uh, are you guys going to look through those, or are you just showing them? I'll probably look through them. Um, yeah, I'll look through the journal. I'll be nosing okay. and look through as well. All just right. like head head on on their shoulder, like reading over it. Uh, what you have, Renji, is a journal written by the uh, mayor of the town, Mayor Lay Duvizin. <clears throat> um, it specifically chronicles some of it. This journal specifically chronicles di the disaster at the mind and the village's anguish of so many victims. Um, the mayor recounts rescue efforts in the following days and how they had to stop in search of uh, stop the search due to fear of more cavens. Um, and some of the even with some of the miners still missing uh, she writes how some of the villagers start going missing in the night um staying stubbornly staying in the city to find the missing villagers while her wife and two children uh, are evacuated uh the last few pages speak of the mayor's nightmares, of her creeping fear, and waking in the night soaked in sweat with lingering screams echoing in her ears. Kind of reads through and just goes, Ah. This was a troubled person. Um... Yeah, we, we should turn that in. Also, Mimi, if you need me to redo your, your censure, I can do that later. I appreciate that. Thank you. <clears throat> uh... While you guys discuss further, I'll be right back. Okay. So. So. So the other actual fae that were cursing at the people or just something that like fae's left? If you want to say that you helped describe what you read in some of the books, I can cover that information so you don't have to and be okay. like, this is the information you shared. Would you like me to do that? I would, but also I'm trying to figure out how to get Ling to a point where they can actually just have a conversation. <laughs> um, I think Ling is probably going to take the next 10 minutes to uh, just sit down in the hole, light some incense, do some prayers and vigilantly watching the, the circle while trying to calm down, and then I'll come back. <laughs> okay. After a roll. <laughs> of course. Uh, Renji, you are the one who found all of the books in the library. Um, so if you want, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the same option. We can say that you described, because Mimi's asking about what these mean locks are. So if yep. you want, I can read through what I read to you before. And just say that that was you were explaining it, because you did just have this information. You would still know it and have the books with you. That sounds good to me. So, me, Renji will produce a small book that has a piece of paper marking a page in it, uh, and on that on that single piece of paper, scrawled in a shaky hand, says, "Could this be the answer?" And the page is a an entry on mean locks. You learn Meanlocks are corrupted fey creatures that spontaneously manifest in response to fear in places where the border with the fey wild is thin. 
mean law create more of their kind by transforming humanoids through a process of psychic torment that takes hours or days. They tend to live in subterranean nests. They are sensitive to bright light and can sense shadows and darkness. Okay. So... So some of the mean locks were people, but that means that there were real mean locks. <clears throat> or the people just became mean locks because they got so close to the Fey border? Is that what that was saying? It may be. Or that mean locks came because the border was so close. That's, that's how I understood it. Yeah. Because mean locks came through because the, the realm was so thin. So <clears throat> if we find the real mean locks, Kadoosh then, then steal off the mines. We, uh, Mucho bueno, you know? I mean... <sighs> yeah, that could work. Then at some point, this town may be livable again. If someone decides to do something with the land. Yes, or we could just get the fuck out. <laughs> Well, yeah, but we literally, like, came all this way to try to fix this issue that decimated a whole town. Why would we come here, figure out what was going on, and then just, like, leave? We can give them the means to... <laughs> Go. <Excuse> me. Go. <laughs> um, I thought something had happened, like a glitch. I was like, what the heck? There you go. If you gave, if we gave someone else the information, it was like, here, this is what's going on. Why would anyone else care but us? Like, if they know that there's something dangerous, I doubt that people are going to want to actively seek out this danger after 70 years of this town being decimated and no one living in it. They're just like, oh, okay, that's what that danger is. At most, I imagine they'll put up like a bunch of signs and fences and be like, don't go over here, which people are going to trespass, and then people will die all over again. We're hot bitches. We're badasses. We can do this. <laughs> We're already here. We might as well get it over with. And then we can find a bag man. <laughs> and then she looks down in the hole. Don't put that on me now! <laughs> <laughs> I like the confidence. I like the, I like the enthusiasm. I like the confidence. I like the enthusiasm. However, can we at least take a day to calm down? Because that was yeah. not a good time. Yeah, that's reasonable. Let's just give at least give it a twenty-four hour. Yeah. Think over, you know. Yeah. Oh, do we want to just like sit here in this spot in the woods, semi, semi close to all the baby people? Well, I guess if they don't like, if they like pitch dark, then they're not going to come out. Maybe. Perhaps. Let's let's give it a think. Okay. Give give me some time. Okay. I desperately need a, at least a little bit of time. Okay. We can do that. Just to get the feeling of being watched off my back. <laughs> I think at that, Ling would uh, poke their head up out of the hole and 
you know, uh, a good prayer helps with that. I feel better. And kind of crawls up out and, and sits with the group. Okay, then. Let's pray. <laughs> Don't pray too Bad hard in my butt. Big booty, booty, booby gods be with us. I was about to say, don't uh, pray too hard. Mimi might burst into fire. Uh, you know what? I might, depending. <laughs> I mean, I I do have to reword some of my prayers for her. <laughs> oh, so considerate. Thank you. I, I would just like to point out that a, that a prayer like that can only be to Celeste or Bacchus. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Or Dionysus. No, actually, actually, um, uh, Mimi serves the two gods, uh, Katia and Trixie. Those are her deities. Oh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Love. Personally, I'm a Shaman Needles or Jinx Monsoon uh, follower. Oh, yeah. Hang on, I don't remember. My friend said that I looked like a drag queen. I don't know if it was Sharon Needles or someone else. Been a second. Hang on. Well, she's mm. looking at uh, Ling's gonna open up the uh, the wax sealed letter. See what that is. Okay. I wonder. You open up. Um, and it is a letter. Well, first off, you would notice that the seal is a red seal that has a uh, snowdrop design. Okay. Um, which matches the ring that Renji found on the main lock. Oh. The signet ring. I I mentioned I it the very end after yeah. we stopped recording because yeah. I had yeah. forgotten that it was a thing. Yeah. I'm just trying um, to think. I don't think Ling would actually know that. Okay. I um, did, but... And the letter seems to be a plea to nearby towns, um, uh, asking other settlements for aid. Uh, this one looks like it had been written by the mayor, and something happened before it could be sent. All the crumpled okay. letters on the floor are also letters seeking aid. I will uh, share that little detail with the group. Also, um, ask everybody if they recognize the symbol, so that maybe that will come up. <laughs> Ranji? Uh, you will look at the seal and go, Oh... Where'd you find that ring? On the main log we found in the master bedroom. I think we just oh. killed the mayor. I mean... Wait. The mayor, though, anymore. The creature formerly known as the mayor. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fuck, we killed the mayor. You I killed the mayor. We. I, I killed the mayor. You killed the mayor! Fuck! You, you killed the mayor. You killed the mayor. Con congratulations. Um, but you didn't kill the deputy? <laughs> what? I was waiting! I was waiting! Trying real hard to resist. And a failed. That was good. That was amazing. I loved it. Just, it's like I had that moment where I'm like, I can do this, and I was like, nope. <laughs> I had a coworker who, on her last day at Applebee's, I'm putting together drinks, and also I hear the soda machine just go whoosh, 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 and I look over, and she's just standing there next to her, and she went, "The impulse is one." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened? She just ran her hand on all of the sodas. <laughs> oh, <my> uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I lost. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. 
I just want to know how long she resisted that before she finally gave it. <laughs> Years. <laughs> just the fact that she just went the intrusive thoughts one, it just killed me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So, uh, go back in tomorrow with fresh heads? Yeah. Um, is there anything that we can do at this moment to, like, better protect ourselves as we camp out for a while? Well, if the damn loads is up. Um. Hmm. Well, um, I'm sure I could ask <laughs> Wink to keep an eye out. That would be nice. I'm not uh, sure if Wink sleeps. Wink, do you sleep? <laughs> yeah, exactly what I was going to do. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. Wink is a cat. So, there. Do you think Wink is going to listen to what you say and not decide to just curl up in your lap and take a nap with you? Is, li- is Wink one of those cats that would literally watch you get murdered and just be washing themselves <laughs> and purring? Ow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, or is, or is, I don't is know. Wink the cat that just silently judge you all the time. Meow. I get the feeling that Wink has no thoughts in their brain. They're just there, perceiving I, I, life. I don't no, to be honest. Um, but then again, Wink has come to my my aid on multiple occasions. So well, I don't think I don't think Wink is the kind of cat that would just groom themselves while you're dying. Well, in which case, um, when we sleep, I will take. F- First and second watch, uh, first and third watch because well, I don't sleep, I only need four hours. I can take a uh, second watch. I'll take first. Uh, as long as you promise to sleep after your watch, uh, that's that's why I'm taking first so I can calm I'll, down. I'll <laughs> take more third. Well, hang on, okay. how many watches do we need? Three, two, four. <laughs> so we all get, you know, a little bit more sleep. Okay. So, yeah, definitely. I'm definitely t- doing second watch. I'll enjoy the absence of the sun while it's still a thing. Right, um, everyone uh, who's not on first gets some sleep. Good night. Good night. night. <laughs> and Renji is being as vigilantly watchful as he, f- as they fucking can. Just. Oh, uh-huh. same. <laughs> you can both make a perception check, or one of you can make it with advantage. Up to you. That's twenty. Uh, Not natural, uh, but twenty total. <laughs> I was gonna say, what's your uh, perception modifier? Plus one. Mine's plus six. I know. Alright. <clears throat> I will take that 21. It is eerily quiet. Every now and then you hear an owl in the background. Maybe That's comforting. The prince of an animal behind you. Nothing towards the town. Really quick, before we go on to second watch, I just want everyone to roll me a wisdom save. God dang it, I knew. I knew it. At least it's not intelligence. Uh, oh, that's still pretty bad. Man. Twelve. Sixteen. Seventeen. 
Eight. Can I give her my inspiration? (laughs) You would not be able to give someone an inspiration in this moment. Yeah, no, didn't think so. Yeah, I can't give someone inspiration while they sleep. Yeah. I mean, technically, inspirations can be used however, but I'm trying to think how it, It's you, fine, it's fine. No, no, It's not like you're giving I mean, someone bardic inspiration. So I guess, yeah, technically. I'd be on watch. okay. I'll deal with consequences. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Um. Mimi, which watch did you say you were taking? Second watch. Okay. So on first watch, I'm asleep. And Ken- Kendall will have. I don't know if Wink will understand her, but she will say, Second watch, you stay up with Mimi. <laughs> okay. She will assign Wink to Mimi. <laughs> and Mimi will probably assign Keith to Kendall. Love it. And be like, If you fall asleep, <laughs> I won't be happy with you. Try to be awake and you be as vigilant as possible and be ready to gnaw someone's face off, okay? I can gnaw someone's face off. If, <laughs> if, if, if someone comes up and something dangerous comes up, but you need to be really vigilant and watching, okay? And you be ready to gnaw someone's face off in case a face that needs gnawing comes around slowly turns towards Jinx who's sleeping on the ground <laughs> that not that not mm, I'm gonna trust I'm gonna trust <laughs> <laughs> and that was the discussion of Mimi assigning Keith so to you Kendall. told you told Keith that to not I'll be right back. somebody's face off that's all I need to know okay <laughs> Somebody that comes around face yeah, off. Yeah, someone that comes around. <laughs> That's not how you said it. That's not how you said I don't know it. That is how she said it. Face That's how I said it. If somebody <laughs> comes around, you didn't say they had to be the same somebody. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Jeez. Second watch. <laughs> Mimi. Meditative trance. I've got a okay. cat with, maybe I might have a ghost cat with me. You have a ghost cat with you, which is strange because with Kendall sleeping, the cat still stays at Kendall's side. It's awake It's a, and it's, it's around right now. It still has a little bit of that tinge of green glowing on the edges at this time of night. Okay. At, the start, of my, at the start of my watch, I would like to give... Wink my hand for sniffs. Take an animal handling check. Okay. Oh. 21 with a natural 19. Ooh. Yeah. Sniffs, sniffs, sniffs. Pushes the head into your hand. Yes. I am giving Wink some head scratches. And then once Wink seems disinterested, oh, you have amassed a collection. Okay. Um, after I... Oh, I can't hear you. You're muted. I have pretzels and onion dip. <laughs> nice. Did you not learn um, anything? <laughs> me? Bread. This is what they... Pretzels bad. Bavarian ones. It doesn't count. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just make sure that I... That I chew them up really good. <laughs> <laughs> just, just soak them in the onion dip. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um. So after giving Wink some head scratches and being like, "All right, we're doing this together," Mimi is like circling their area, watching, trying to be a little predator that she is. Okay. Just doing her best. Make a perception check with advantage. Okay. It's nighttime. I'm a vampire. That's my thing. Oh, please be better, please. In your yes. Yeah. Twenty-one. With a natural nineteen. There's a couple moments where you swear you see someone because you're still relatively close to the town. 
You swear you can kind of see something moving throughout the town, but it's still real quiet here. And that pause in the music right now made it so much worse. <laughs> oh. Does she need to roll a d6 like we did? Not at the moment. Oh? Oh, huh? I have fear now. As you should. <laughs> uh, is that is that all? It's your your oh, watch I goes by. Without any, you just see something in the. You, you could swear you see something move through the village every once in a blue moon, but you're not sure if it's the light, if it's shadows playing tricks on you, if there's something really moving. Okay. How's Wink doing? On alert. Same as you. Okay, that's good to know. Wink is not a will nap when you need them most kind of cat. That's nice. All right. Okay. Third watch. Keith. <clears throat> Keith. Who, do you want Keith to roll the perception check? Is that what you're saying? We're just saying Keith is there. Yes, Keith, Keith is there. there. Yep. Uh, fucking high alert. High alert. Uh, individual or a advantage perception? Let me see what I have. I have a plus six. Evan, let me see what you have. And oh, no! 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 Anakin, let me see what you have. A wife! No! <laughs> I have a plus one to perception. Uh, do you want me to take the advantage then? Go ahead. Ooh, we knew that was a six on the die. <gasps> hey, I will take that 24. But also, I have a passive perception of uh, 21, if that's any truth. It's still very quiet. Mm -mm. It's that's uncomfortable. Right. The rain has started to come down a little harder now. You can hear it coming through the leaves. Mimi. As you're sleeping... You begin to have a dream. You feel stuck, trapped, buried. As you go to pull the darkness in front of you away, more fills in and more fills in and you can not get out. You feel like you've been buried alive. It's about time, to be honest. <laughs> Renji, you can hear with your massive perception check. A little bit of uncomfortability within Mimi. In her sleep. I'm gonna wait until it gets like real bad before I wake them up. Is there anything you're going to do in this dream, Mimi? Um, can I move in this dream? Or is it just nonsensical? Like, not necessarily weighted reality it feels very real 
Does it feel like weight, like real life? It feels like you are trapped under stone and rubble. Okay. Uh, trying from going from trying to pull out that darkness, she like waits for a second, gives it a minute, reevaluates. So Renji, like she's panicked, and then like she kind of just stops. And then in the dream, she's gonna try to like punch and dig her way out, Kill Bill style. Wait, yes, Kill Bill, yes. the second movie, Volume yes. Two. Yes. Make a make an attack roll for me, an armed attack. Uh, okay. Um. Oh, nineteen. You begin to punch and scratch and claw at the rocks in front of you, and you're able to pull some away, and dirt just comes pouring in from that hole you just created. You could make a make a con safe. There it is. Okay. Oh wait, save. No, yes, yeah, same thing. Okay. Natural 20. 21. It's strange. It's been so long since you felt like you were choking on something. And you almost have that sensation of choking on dust and dirt as it fills over top of you. But you're able to keep it from going down your throat and, and making it impossible for you to breathe which is again not something that you are you've had in so long you can swear you hear muttered voices around you that you can't quite make out of cries for help and sounds of pain okay am i aware that i'm dreaming right now no chill um hmm I'm just gonna if if dirt is coming in from somewhere then there's a source to get out so I'm gonna try to follow where the dirt is coming from okay make a athletics check to see how much you can pull out of the way okay and Mimi's probably panicking more now Oh, eight. <laughs> you dig and you dig and there's no end to that. Uh, that piling of dirt is now getting difficult to move as it fills into the spaces around you. Please make another wisdom save. Perfect. It went so good the first time. That's a six. Renji. Oh. You've never heard Mimi breathe. And definitely not like this. There's a panic to it. There's a choking to it. It's not anything you'd expect from her, especially. Yeah. Um... I'm going to wake a bimbo up. <laughs> okay. Just gen uh, gently sh shake you, her. You Mimi. shake Mimi, and the eyes fly open, and they are much more red than you're used to. Oh, fuck. Roll initiative! Okay. What? <clears throat> All of us? Mimi, you gone feral. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck me. Um, okay. Um, oh, yo, no! Or is it just Renji? It, wait, is it f for those? Is it all right awake? now? Right now, if you're awake, you are automatically yeah. in the initiative. Everyone's okay. rolling initiative because it's gonna get loud and people are gonna wake up. Great, love that. Guess who else uh, gets uh, roll okay. initiative? El Eleven. Heath is his own initiative in this case. I love Ten. my 
Keith is about to eat Mama's face. Alright, we are going to reuse <laughs> a map. Question. Um, yes. We haven't had a full rest yet, have we? Not Just a short one? Mm -hmm. Well, yes, technically this... this Okay. You have not had a, a full short rest yet. Oh, I've, had, I've, had my, I've had my trance, so that counts as a long rest. Yeah, Renji's all good, but we're fucked. Well, at least I am. Uh, how do I do that? That's... Where the fuck doesn't tell you where? Oh, we're so tiny. Um, I'm moving you to a new map. Um, all right, so, Renji, what is your initiative? Oh, 11. All right. Uh, Mimi, what is your initiative? Also 11. Okay. Um... Uh, I think it automatically sorts you guys by your dex <clears throat> bonus. Maybe. Um, it, it, if so, then I'm definitely first. <laughs> yeah, then it did. Then it did. Ling? Uh, ten. My pen is out of ink. Ooh. Oh, no. Aww. My pretty pen that I bought That's for so this nice. journal. Uh, Time to get an ink refill. Yep. I don't know how to. I don't think I can. Well, that's stupid. Does the gem unscrew? No. Ah. Uh. Kendall, what's your initiative? Fifteen. Okay. Right up at the top. Other and you Jason. are also one of those who is awake, correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think you I'm noticed... the only one asleep. <laughs> okay. You did notice the stirring in Mimi, but uh, Renji mm -hmm. noticed it much more. Yeah. And then you watched Renji watch it walk over, shake Mimi, and then the eyes fly open, glowing red. Yeah. Mm, not fun. Uh, top of the round is actually the cat, who, well, it would be Jinx, but Jinx is asleep. Uh, and the cat is not quite aware of what's happening, so the cat's just going to chill. So, Kindle, you There it is! Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Kindle, you, you're, you watch as... Mimi's eyes fly open. And it looks like she's about to make an aggressive move. What do you do? Yeah, for flavor's sake, we'll say her face also kind of scrunches and wrinkles like a bat's nose. Mm. And she looks kind of rabid. Mm-hmm. Just for cool. funsies. Um... He is going to uh, hold her action. She's going to use a shocking grasp um, if Mimi comes within uh, melee range. Okay. So if she if she lunges and starts to attack, then Kendall has something. All right. Keith is also holding an action at this moment. Uh, which brings us to Renji. Okay. So I'm just uh, reading how a spell works. Okay. Um, I am drawing, not out of its sheath, but I'm drawing the blade. And I'm okay. just going to bonk Mimi on the head. Roll an attack.
That is a 25. Yeah, it's oh. going to hit. <laughs> uh, two I'm handed. sure, right, maybe? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, Two-handed, so... And that is 11 points of bludgeoning damage to the head. And as a bonus action, Flurry of Blows. And I'm just not taking any chances. I'm just trying to just knock her out. This is all, like, going to be non-lethal, by the way, if, mm -hmm. in future. Uh, the first one is a 14. Damn it. Hits? No, four, 14 um, to hit. Oh. <laughs> I was like, whoa! Yeah, that hits. I think she has a pretty low armor class. Um, where's my... Oh, I'll see if the second one hits. Um, 14 again. So... Card. An extra 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Mimi, are you down? I'm at 10 out of 27, so... Whatever that means. <clears throat> You're not unconscious yet. Um, but make a another wisdom save to see if you can snap out of it as you've just gotten conked pretty good. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, Renji does an 18 hit. 18? No, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, you whack Mimi and as you do, Keith reaches out with the claws and slices at you, but you manage to duck out of the way. I'm trying to put it back to sleep, Keith! My baby! Um, that was a 14. Let me look to see what your new number is updated to. You, what was it again? A 14. You do not succeed. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. So, in that case, Mimi, you are up. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think in this moment, he's just gonna, he's just gonna try to bite him. Okay. Make an attack with advantage. Okay. Oh. Okay. With advantage. With advantage, that is 17 to hit. Don't think that hits, seeing as the 18 did not. So mm. you manage to swat. He manages to pull out of the way as your teeth lash out towards him. Um. Probably as she does that and like message she her eyes just glare at Renji and in this deep kind of clicking voice you just hear you scum and she is just glare yeah I promised I'll do your cinch later I'll, I'll, I'll do it after this okay <laughs> <clears throat> Ling, make a perception check just to see if this wakes you up. Oh boy, You're okay. Sleeping okay, okay, is a disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay. Well, that Sorry. one was an 18, so. And a 12, so 13. Yeah, it wakes you up. You're good. You're awesome. Awake, but you're also still prone. Okay. I use half my movement to stand up, grabbing my blanket. I lunge at Mimi, wrap it over her, and uh, grapple her. 
just trying to hold her in place, pluck out her senses. An unarmed strike. Because okay, grapples are weird. I don't know if I have any boosts to that, but it doesn't fucking matter because that's a natural fucking twenty. Mimi, you are considered grappled. Perfect. Uh, unarmed strike is a plus six, so that's a twenty-six. <laughs> All right. Now, are you like trying to flip it over her head so she can't see, or? Yes, I'm putting the whole thing over her and then like cinching myself around it to okay. try to immobilize her as much as possible. So, Mimi, you are grappled and blinded. Top of the round, it is Jinx's turn. Jinx gonna wake up. Is Come Jinx on, Mimi, it's just us. Up. It's just us. Calm down. <laughs> no, that's an eight. <laughs> Jinx, Jinx is in... In his own dreams. <laughs> He's not awake. So it's now... Uh, Kindle, it's now your cat's turn. What's your cat gonna do? Um, What can your dead cat do? Does he get any fun ghost stuff? What can my cat do? I don't think I have the stats for him. Does your cat have fun ghost stuff? Uh, he, it's ghost... There's a um, homebrew ghost cat that should... I think we put it under your familiars, but I don't remember. Um, I don't think we could on D and D Beyond because I couldn't find it. In that case, um, I'm I'm gonna ask Wink to brush up against Mimi's leg with, with, with his softness. To see Aww. if it all it, if it snaps her out of it. All right, the ghost cat begins to uh, nestle up against you in an attempt to uh, break this trance that you are in, Mimi. We'll see if it helps you further down the line. But okay. I don't think it's enough to give you another wisdom save at this yeah. moment. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know. Sometimes something tactical, you know, helps. Mm-hmm. Good thinking. And it's a great idea. Oh, yes. I'll say actually, Ling, you would have had to move like here. So. Oh that. yeah, I didn't even I didn't even think about that. You're totally good. Um. So next up is Kindle's turn. I'm going to, um, excuse me. I'm eating pretzels. They're delicious. You're totally good. <laughs> I'm eating mac and cheese. Um, she's going to go up to Mimi since she's grappled. And, like, take her face with the blanket <laughs> over her. Mm-hmm. And just go, Mimi, Mimi, darling, wake up. Mm-hmm. Just try to. Okay. Hello. Just make a persuasion check real quick. Okay. Persuasion. Persuasion. That's a good mod. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, we will keep going and see what happens when we get to Mimi's turn. Uh, it's Keith's turn again. Keith, what you doing, man? Probably me at this point. Yep. Yeah, actually, you're the one who's literally grappling mom. Mm-hmm. Um, Bring it on. I just spent three hit dice. 14. Does 14. Nope. Uh, even without my shield, that's a no. Although you are grappling someone. Give me advantage. Or give him advantage, rather. I'll take it. But I don't know if technically that would give him advantage. Do it anyway in this scenario. I mean, sometimes it really is just like the story. It's another 14. It doesn't matter. Cool. How did you roll two 14s? What the fuck? Okay. Uh, yeah. He keeps trying to bite at you and you're just like kicking him away with your feet and it's not working. Oh, oh I'm not even kicking. He's just scratching against the uh, the chainmail at this point. I'm focused solely on Mimi. All right. Uh, that then brings us up, and Keith would have had to come around here. Um, uh, 
Actually, one more thing that he will do, because I forgot that was a thing, is I need you to make a wisdom save fling. Gotcha, gotcha. Um... Ah, shit. That's a seven. Should I... You are considered frightened of Keith? And have disadvantage on your attacks as long as Keith is in your line of sight. Keith. Unless yeah, I'll you save want my to... inspiration. Okay. Yeah, Keith keeps scratching and, and clawing at you and lets out this nasty, like, throaty, gurgly growl at you, and you're not used to seeing that side of Keith anymore. And it's this this little thing is terrifying now. Oh, <laughs> like mother, like son. No. Oh. Uh, now, Renji, you are up. I'm going to cast sleep. Okay. Now, you've used this before. So... Mm -hmm. Roll 5d8. Okay. Yep. I think all you have to do is roll over a 10 at this point. I, I have to roll extremely poorly for that. And I mean really bad. And technically speaking, if you are rolling it, um, if you get over a 17, you can also take out Keith. D8. That's a D8. That's a D8. That's a D8. There we go. It's a 5D8. Um... Yeah, um, hold on. <laughs> Maths. <clears throat> That's 29. All right. Are you only aiming to knock out Mimi or? I'll knock out Keith because he's going to complicate things. Both. So, Ling, you feel Mimi go limp in your grasp and the small terrifying green creature also collapses into a heap asleep Mimi that dream has been overwhelming and then you woke up and just saw red and it fades back into nothingness of a dream. You are considered asleep. Is it, am I back in the dream that I was before? No. Or just out? You are not in the same dream. Just real quick, roll me one more saving throw. Wisdom? Yes. Chill. Oh, seven. Seven? Okay. The dream you slid back into is something that you had forgotten. Vaguely remember. But of your sire, the tall, bony, stark haired individual. Oh, he was about six, about six feet tall, stringy, greasy looking hair dark penetrating eyes and just a look of disdain at anyone who came into his vision. You remember
the moment you agreed to let him turn you. What was that like? The... Can you elaborate on that? My own personal thought process or the physical process? What your thought process of what led you to that decision and what it felt like for Mimi. What do you think that was like for you? What do you imagine with the moment that Mimi was turned? In in that time, she had just been a quiet, a quiet girl who was attentive to the people around her and did what she could for her family. And she had a couple hobbies and she did her job and she was an obedient person. But when this creature of unimaginable power offered her immortality and strength above all others, her only thought was her own ego and her own pride of I knew I was better than everyone else and finally I get to be the god that steps on everyone beneath me finally I can be bigger now and this person understands my worth and even through the pain of dying and being reborn as a monster, there was a selfish obsession with the pain that she was experiencing and a eagerness and a delight in the, the death that she was experiencing and the death that she would cause. And finally feeling that she would be who she was supposed to be and that she had found an equal to her. There's a moment before that pain sets in so much and and your vision goes dark. You are looking around the darkened chamber where this all took place. You see your sire but you swear you see a couple other figures in the shadow of the chamber. A elven looking gentleman, a woman, smug looks on their face. The woman you hear say. <laughs> That's not what she says. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I mean, didn't mean to press that. <laughs> it's amazing timing. Oh my god. You hear the woman say. Careful, Kirken. Don't want to take it too far. And that's all you remember. In the meantime, the rest of you watch as Mimi and Keith fall asleep in the campground. Very gently try and uh, lay her in my lap from the, the grapple that I have her in. Still keeping a good hold on her, but she's now in a lying position on my lap. Take the, the blanket up off over her head so we can see <laughs> see her reactions and if she's going to wake up. And make sure she's not just going to suddenly lunge at us. <laughs> Anyone doing anything with the two unconscious individuals on the ground? Um, 
I am binding Keith's arms and legs. Oh, buddy. He's a menace. <laughs> so am I. He got it from me. He was a menace. Maybe you want to. You maybe want to do that to, to to her hands and feet too. <laughs> Keep her here, but still, just in case, at least her feet. I maybe not Mimi. Definitely Keith, though. Definitely Keith. <laughs> Kendall will. So it's um... just it's just Keith that's been hog tied. <laughs> yep. I, love I, it. I guess that job. Lies to me then. <laughs> Continue. I'm sorry. I just wanted to check. Kendall will um put like a pillow underneath Mimi's head to support, you know, support the head, you know, head trauma, yeah. and all that. <laughs> and um, yeah. Now the question is: Do we put, try and wake her? <laughs> pick up, wink. <laughs> Place Set on, on chest. Chest, yeah. <laughs> Make massive, the biscuits, boy. <laughs> the massive shelf that is yes. her chest. <laughs> she makes biscuits. <laughs> Bap, no. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a video of a cat and I meant to send it to you guys but lost it completely. Aww. It was a kitten sitting in somebody's like Italian grandmother's lap oh. and the grandmother's chatting with her hands as you'd expect and the cat yeah. just like <laughs> <laughs> losing it oh my god that's adorable I love that <laughs> oh I'm gonna actually have, have to head off cause I'm not feeling so good oh no okay. you okay game tonight. yeah I know um, my head and my stomach are just bleh. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Just make okay. sure you take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. I shall. I feel I better. Shall. I shall definitely try. But Thank I will you catch you guys. No, of course. Love you guys. Bye. 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 And then there were three. Yes. yes. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, as Mimi is laying in my lap, I'm just gonna very gently run hands comfortingly across her cheek, trying to, I, I guess, wake her up, but also comfort her <laughs> so she wakes up gently. Right. And hopefully not in that, uh, feral state. You shall see. But I am also ready to re grapple. <laughs> Choke a bitch out if needed. Exactly. Uh, Mimi. You feel that dream pull away from you as your eyes open and you see your friends hovering over you. Probably looking a bit concerned. You also yeah. hear oh no, wait, no. You hear a light snoring coming from nearby <laughs> Mimi when she wakes up she's chill for a second and she's mostly remembering the dreams so she like scrambles to her knees and she she she's kind of panicking it's not the same panic from before and then like she like she's freaking out and she takes desperately kind of it like is diff this is difficult for her and it has never been difficult before rips her corset off and then finds like the nearest hair tie ribbon and puts her hair up and she's like just trying to give herself space <laughs> she's dis she's she's walked away from the group and is like leaned up against a tree or something and is like fanning herself and is trying to give herself the feeling that she is not somewhere tiny. Um, and also looking around, trying to handle 
what happened and also remember the bearings. dream of the fire who she has not thought about for a very very long time so she's like ha ah, the information in my brain it's too much this bitch is so hot she got a hot flash for real <laughs> for real <laughs> Um, she, would... she just stands far away for a bit and takes it. I was just going to say, you would definitely see Ling battle axe in hand, ready to fight, but also very concerned, worried look upon their face. Fair. After a good chunk of time, Mimi slowly walks back to the group and she's delicately wiping tears from her eyes. She's not actively crying, but there's tears coming out and she is just wiping them up and she sits down. She's like, <sighs> You okay? Obviously not, but, like, are you going to kill us okay? I don't think so. Oh, thank the gods. And you just see this, like, giant stress ball just get dropped off of Ling. Let <laughs> <laughs> so me I... sit down in front of you. I got all crazy, didn't I? A little bit. Kendall will, Kendall will pick up Mamie's corset and carefully, like, kind of fold it and then, you know, hang on to it until Mimi is ready whenever she is to put it back on. Mm -hmm. She's just taking care of it. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you. She's just, just clearing her face and trying to, like, hold herself together. So sorry. I had, I had this crazy dream. I think it was from the mines. And I thought I was dying, which I didn't think I was capable of after initially dying. Um... And then I just saw red when I woke up. Is everyone okay? Yeah. We're all everyone, fine. Everyone's fine. We're just worried, mostly. She looks over and notices Keith. I'm concerned for you. What? Why did you tie him up like livestock? He is. Ah. And he is snoring that, like, gurgling. And every now and then it just kind of... <gasps> And he's like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> is he okay? Kind of a package deal. And then he's like, <laughs> curls over, you're like, okay. <laughs> oh, you two came as a bit of a package deal. Oh. What did he do? Took your back. My son. Yes. Um. We can't blame him. Yeah. Sorry. We can't blame you either. I don't think. This place is affecting us all in strange ways. Yeah. Uh, I have not done that in a very long time. And then I had another dream after... Did I... Did you guys knock me out? Renji put you to sleep. That's oh, that's they, also they, why they, Keith is out cold. <laughs> yes, they they cast uh, a sleep spell. Oh. Okay. So yeah, I had another dream after that, and I do not have the mental capacity or capacity to process that. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I want to kill whatever's in there because now I feel targeted. Yeah, yeah. Now that my mind is is clear, is it's not a good thing to leave around. That's for sure. <sighs> Fair enough. Because even just sleeping near the town. <sighs> Bye. It's just dis- disturbing. Yeah. But now we kind of have an idea of what happened, I guess. Yeah. What they experienced. Ugh. <sighs> yeah. Apparently this is step one for mm-hmm. their turning of us. Oh, no! Oh, no! Yeah. 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 But I want to be a bug crustacean fae. That's why we gotta kill him. No. <laughs> I feel weird. I feel icky. My boobs would not look good in an exoskeleton. No, no, they wouldn't. <laughs> Mimi's gonna take. Well, I want that on a t shirt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um... Mimi's gonna pick up Keith like a cat and then set him on her lap and kind of like scritch his head till he wakes up. Okay. (laughs) Hold on. Writing that down. Yes! That's fucking amazing! You lift him and set him on your lap and scritch between his his hordes. And there's that <laughs> And he just starts freaking out against his bindings. <laughs> Pick him up, do the long cat method. And then turn him. It's okay. You're okay. (laughs) And then unties, puts him back down on her lap. Just glaring at Ling. I didn't do shit to you. Okay, so... Bite your face off! No! Tries to lunge, but we we got a grip. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, okay, Keith, I actually tried to kill everyone, so it's actually kind of good that they put us to sleep. Would you rather the alternative of no longer existing? Lang! Lang! Just try to put it in terms he would understand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, Keith, I could have eaten you. Are you proud of me for almost killing everyone? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, please. Well, (laughs) thank you. um, Thank you for protecting me. You were really cool. Ling kind of reaches over while they're still in long cat mode and just pats their head. You were the goodest boy. Knowing that just pisses him off. <laughs> so he hundred percent tries to bite your hand as you go to do that. Oh, I'm, I'm fine. With, well, I figured he was facing Mimi. I, I came up behind and patted. You're the oh, goodest. Boy. Die. <laughs> <laughs> you did really good. Okay, Keith. Thank you. What do you say when someone says thank you? Hold on one second. I have to remember. One of his features. Nope, not that one. Where did it go? This one.
Yeah, he just goes centipede mode. Oh, he just turns into an oversized centipede in your arms. <laughs> As you hear, like, a giant you wiggling goes... grub. <laughs> I mean, you would say you're welcome, but this is fine. And then she she puts her centipede on her lap. She's totally just chilling with the centipede now. Um. Okay, so just to preface, no one else had any dreams, any spoopies. No, my my spoopies happened during the day. Oh, well, early evening. That's so awesome. Yeah. No. No, I'm still sore from that window. Oh. In the tree trunk. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I experienced the collapsing. I mean, did the I mean, like collapsing of the mine, and I was covered in dirt. And I almost choked on it, and I heard people screaming and stuff. So that sounds terrifying. like the mine. It was a great time. It was such a good time. I I was so happy to be there. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, I, sorry. I feel like I should say that. Sorry. Accepted for me. Jeez. There's no need for you to apologize to me. Well. I found that this group has a very interesting uh, knack for having different sides. Yeah. 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 That's true. Do. It's a bit, bit flip flopping. <laughs> Maybe we should call ourselves the Switchblades. <laughs> I like that, actually. Yeah. The personality Discreet, switch powerful. <laughs> that would be fun, actually, uh, if we were called the Switchblades. I like it. Yeah. Candle we'll keeps about switchblades. It. We'll work yeah. on it. We'll yeah. work on it. We should yeah, ask Renji and Jinx once they wake up. For so some reason, Renji got himself with a spell. No, no idea how that happened. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I mean, if anyone could use sleep, it's Renji. They yeah, he always just sits there lot. and, like, hums to himself at yeah. night. Yeah, they just kind of I don't, I don't get how he can do it. Thanks. <laughs> Even, like, because even I, like, I don't, like, I don't, like, need, need, need sleep, sleep. But, like, it's embedded in my habit, and it's gotten to a point that I feel better, you know? Anyways. um, Do we want to try and finish our rest before we uh, uh, tackle the day? Maybe. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll keep do the next watch. Because I, sure. uh, I shouldn't go to sleep. That feels like a bad thing to do. Yeah. I feel like we should have two people on watches. But we yeah. need two more people to sleep. At least. <laughs> Who's already I, done it? I don't mind taking another shift. That, that's appreciated. I mean, I'm still I'm still pretty I've wiped out. I slept all the way <laughs> yeah. to this point. Renji and I were starting our shift, and oh, okay. Me. So I don't mind staying up because I was going to. So okay, that works. Thanks. <laughs> okay, you you go to sleep. Thanks, sir. Uh, long. Yeah. yeah thanks. Uh, just takes their blanket and just gonna wrap themselves in it and <laughs> okay sounds about right Mimi will put her corset back on mm. she's like oh I guess Renji can't get no old we'll get and hand it over Oof. you're all right No, but you know that ha this 
that that was a whole debacle. So that it's happened a whole like, thing. Yeah, happened like three minutes ago. So I'm not gonna be okay for a little bit, but I will be. Very well. It's not like it was damaging to my being, but it was damaging to my evening and to y'all's evening. They're really trying to turn me into a crustacean right now. <laughs> I imagine. Yes. Also, BRB. Okay. Are you? How are <laughs> you, madam? I'm fine. Okay. I'm all right. You didn't hurt any of us, so. Okay. Yeah, I think I would have known if I, like, really hurt you guys, because I would have felt way more energized, if you know what that means. No, yes, that makes sense. Yeah. I just was like, did I bite? Did I at least claw at someone? Is everyone, like, did I bitch slap someone? But I don't think I got to do that. Your head is sore, by the way, maybe. Great. She'll like ru- like massage her head and be like, "Wow, okay, my head also really hurts, and it's not just from like the usual weight of the crown that I walk around with being a bad bitch, or my hair." Yes, we apologize. Oh, fine. I would have probably would have done the same. Um. If you need to get rest, I can watch after you. See, that would, that's a nice idea. I don't think I'm going to do that because I had a weird dream the first time I was asleep. I had a weird dream the second time I was asleep. I don't want to know what's going to happen the third time I go to sleep, you know? I understand. Um, Would it be wise if we left this town, go back to our original place, get whatever supplies we need, come up with a plan, you know, get out of harm's way. And then when we are ready to take this on, we can come back. That make make more sense. Because whenever someone started having, like, dreams and stuff, they would disappear within a matter of, like, hours or days. Mm -hmm. so So perhaps it would be smart since you've had a dream Mm -hmm. we leave go back to town get supplies provisions whatever come up with a game plan and then we go and do what needs to be done yeah because we we should not take any more time especially through the night being here Mm -hmm. With that, I'm actually going to pause this for a little bit because I need a break real quick. Yeah. I'm use the restroom. Uh, so let's take like five minutes and then come back. Sure thing. Sounds good to me. Okay. Recording so, in progress. For those who did fall asleep, the next morning comes and it is another miserably rainy day. Lovely. But you have time to discuss. We'll say Renji is currently catching Jinx up on what happened. <laughs> cool. Bless you. Thank you. There it is. Ooh. Um. Yeah, I think maybe we should try and rush back to town. Get you out of here. And then uh, come back at a normal pace or trying to avoid things. But you're right. Our, I think maybe getting out of here as fast as possible is probably the best uh, result, at least to reset this. Hopefully it doesn't resume once you're back in vicinity. Yeah. I mean, also, like, if it's just that once they have the nightmares, then they disappear. Like, 
that might that'll probably give us more time because that's relying on the I want to say meerkats um the Minglox? that one <laughs> meerkats <laughs> they're they're mean and they're like a lock <laughs> mean lock <laughs> <laughs> when, yeah, when you first mentioned them, like I got me luck, but but then at this moment I was like meerkat. Close enough. <laughs> is, is this chitinous creature just popping out of a hole like a prairie dog <laughs> and just like? <laughs> oh, that's amazing imagery. Oh my god. <laughs> Hang on. Yes. How- how big is it? They are considered medium small. creature size. No. Nope, oh, small. small. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, then there's not a big deal. So, like the size of Keith. <laughs> These are really Keith. small on the map, but he is. Go away. He's considered tiny. So this oh, is a, okay. one size class above Keith. Okay. He's this tiny. Okay. The tiny little bit. I'd be very interested if we went back to that mansion and looked for more closets. I'm curious to see if Keith has siblings. That could be interesting. And then we end up with our own little gaggle of children. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Either those are children you want. <laughs> well, I that. Are there any other or... kind? <laughs> I'm just saying that might be a little bit of a feral, feral uh, 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 home you've got there. <laughs> We're already a like I said. Is there any other kind <laughs> when kids are involved? Um, or I mean, we could just cut to the chase and start swooping, start killing. I, I mean, don't know. I'm done. I'm down for that. We're I'm already conflicted. here. I'm conflicted now. I thought about it. Now I'm conflicted. Kindle, help. <clears throat> well, here's the thing. We could just go in and shoot, right? Uh, but we don't exactly know what is in this. You know, we don't know what is at hand. We do not know the stakes. We do not know how many of them there are. We do not know where they reside. We do not know how strong they are as a group, whether they're loners or whether they're together. There isn't much that we know in this current moment. And especially with the time that we're wasting and Mimi having to go through these symptoms already, it's dangerous. Yes. <clears throat> Whereas, if we go back to town, we get Mimi away from this place, which will cease her nightmares, supposedly, according to, you know, some witness accounts. When you leave, you... Yes. Astra. Yes. According to Astra, when you leave, you don't deal with them anymore, which is good. So, we could go back which would give us a chance to slow down, think, come up with a plan, get more weapons, if we need more weapons, get food, rethink, do some studying, if we can, um, before we go back in with swords a-swinging. That's a good point. That's a lot of good points. Now, I'm not saying that we should just leave immediately if you don't want to. Because we could come, you know, proper daylight. We could go and search more. See if we could find any clues. Isn't it the next, isn't it the next morning? Is it the next day? It is yeah. the next morning. Oh, okay, okay. Then we could go. We could see. We could do some research. And then Before we... it gets dark. Okay. Because as soon as that sun sets, Mimi is in danger. Yes. We are all in danger at that point. Very true. In the town or here? 
Yes. Yes. You're in danger here. We all are in danger in the town. Why are we in danger in the town? Because of all the mean looks. Locks. Oh. Not, oh, the, the, the town's <laughs> back. No, not not Storpenhauer. Storpen, Storpenhauer. Vermilion. So, but, 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 but I live there. I live there. I don't. It, it's okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, we can head back. Um, when we go back to Storpenhauer, I will probably chill outside of the town. That's and. Funny probably find something to eat. And do whatever you like. I mean, if you feel like you need a fresher now. Uh, I kind of went a little wild. So I'm gonna... Give it a second. <laughs> I've kind of, I've kind of learned how to exist in a delirium of ha of, yeah. of hunger, and I, that's kind of where I exist. It's nice. It's it doesn't easy. sound nice. It's it works. I'm sure it's fine, but it doesn't sound nice. <laughs> it works. Well, I'm sorry you have to live there. It makes me a bad bitch. I accept it. It does. But yeah, I'd rather wait till we're like back in town so then I could find like a cow or a pig or a goat or a donkey. Sure. Something like that. Oh, I could find a sheep and then we can use the wool and make little matching sweaters. So cute. Can you eat the spiders in Spider Haunt? Does that work for you? I haven't tried. I could I could try. I mean they're monsters, so I don't know if it'll really Yeah, I guess work. But I could try. I'm always down to trying new things. <sighs> just just a thought that occurred. That's all. <laughs> well hey, then maybe we should hope that we come across some spiders in Spider Haunt Woods and then I can eat them. This is true. This is true. Yeah. So are are we kind of in consensus that we're heading back to Storpenhauer? Is that is that what's happened? I think so. I suppose so. Or at least Good. get away from this creepy town far enough where it does not affect us anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Because to be honest, you guys could start having nightmares too. Mm -hmm. That was just the it, first uh, person yeah. to have nightmares. This is this is true. This is true. Honestly, well, I'm kind of surprised I didn't. Yeah, good for you. Thanks. About table. Same here. You only missed a single cart in the town, and the mine itself. Okay. So yeah, I figured if we were coming back, we were going to go into the mine. Above table. Do we want to go back or do we want to cut this? Because there are two modules for level four. Yes, um, there are. Sarah said. And we could cut this one as it is, go do the other level four, or complete this one level up and skip the next one. Or just do both. Mm -hmm. Those were options given to Renji and I um, last session, I think. Yeah, and I was going to talk to you guys after this one because <clears throat> I didn't know where you wanted to go with it. Yeah. But since we're having this conversation, good time to bring it up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not against, like, doing both if our path can allow for it. It's a, It all depends on how long you guys want to stay at level four, because you stayed at level three for a while. We did stay at level three for a while. Well, we were doing... That's why I brought it up. We were doing non-module related stuff. Mm -hmm. So Which is totally fine. I, I get it. I, it's fun. I love it. It's fantastic that we can yeah. do whatever the fuck we want in this campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's been great. I just want to see if you want to level up faster or if you want to just 
go for the completion uh, uh, achievement. <laughs> Do we want the platinum trophy? <laughs> I'm thinking no. <laughs> I ab above table. If if we're gonna like go in and do any kind of combat i probably would prefer it for renji and or jinx to be there so that it's not just three of us who's well keep in mind basing jinx, as in brian is leaving the game i know so once so basically i'm just piloting his character so his character's there yeah um and then just whenever he has a moment mm -hmm. uh jinx will be at candle keep yeah um so it's more when Renji can join. Mm -hmm. Also, the mine is like a dungeon. Just so you guys know. Yeah, so that's a lot of time. Yeah, it's a it's a dungeon crawl. There's a lot of chambers in it, and not all of them are gonna have combat. Mm -hmm. I can show you the map of the um mine if you'd like. <gasps> If it'll help you make the decision. I, my personal decision at the moment is this seems kind of at a good point where we could walk away from the tower and just kind of go on to the other one. Because we did fulfill at least two side-ish quests for this. And we could just, you know, kind of tell them, hey, this is what's happening. Warn people off like they have been. Mm -hmm. But we could but fix it. Can we? It's not like we're not going. Can we, though? Okay, cool. Let's fix it. I mean, I'm, I'm down for both. I'm, that's that's That was just my viewpoint. At the moment, my, my, also I, is already 450. So, if you guys just want to get to the gate of the mine and have Renji here next time, also works. Or if you guys want to get to the town to pick up supplies, we can do that too. Because um, I know you said you wanted to play only for 30 minutes. So, what we supplies can... do we need? And more than anything, I feel like it'd be worth researching the creatures to understand their weaknesses and exploit that. And then, like, maybe healing stuff. And anything um, we'd need to kill them better. Um, That's my thought process of what we would need. At this then point, again, this like, kind of over table, kind of in game. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the players are having <laughs> a conversation that could also translate to character characters. Conversation. We could just go straight to the mine. We could I think so. Go to the mine. Any research we would do wouldn't be it around might be here. limited. Right. Yeah, I think Renji found as much re research what... as we're going to find on okay. on them. Um, it, I mean, maybe we would have better luck back at Candlekeep, but that's, that's a, <laughs> quite, yeah, it's a long quite the way. distance yeah. to come back. Um, Perhaps we should just do a swoop. Yeah. I guess we can yeah. just do a swoop. None of you guys have sending or anything, right? No. Unfortunately not. No, I don't believe so. I know. Yeah, I know. Trust me, I've been kicking myself for the last half hour. <laughs> I'm not a cleric, god damn it. Uh, yeah, but you're always a cleric. It's nice to branch I out. Know. I know. I know, but clerics are just so good. They're <laughs> so good. I'm just checking really quick. Nope. Yeah, let's let's go in for a swoop. Just wanted okay. to make sure Jinx did not have sending and Jinx does not. Oh. I mean, Does I got. Ng have sending? <laughs> I don't think so. That'd be really not unless he has it from an item. How did? Well, I mean, he has sleep, four feet. So, I mean, there are. If he he had sleep, so that's already impressive. True, yeah. but sleep is a first level spell. Sending is a third, which I. 
I don't think any spellcasters have access to third at this level. I think we're still at yeah. Level sleep two. is all he has, and that's um, that's a that's a thing. Yeah. Well, I have an hour of a uh, uh, daytime ball, which did help. Did help a lot uh, in my fight against them last night. Um, they have pack tactics, so if they're in groups, they get advantages against us. Oh, ew. So we'd want to keep them separated if possible. Yeah. Um, Single them out. Yeah. So they don't necessarily have pack tactics. This is also above table. It's more you were in a panic state that they were able to get the advantage. Okay. Okay. Well, in Ling's mind, they have they have pack tactics. So Just, okay, that Just, that would that's still yeah. it's still the conversation. Above table, awesome. On table, yeah, no, they have pack tactics. We got to keep them separated. <laughs> they do. get over it. <laughs> They're gonna fucking rush us. And they're easy to hit. I like easy for me. to hit. Uh, I think so. They're, how do I put this? Just over an average roll. Without giving away an actual DC. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm pretty sucky at rolls and, like, battle. So we'll see. Um... I don't think I really have anything. Yeah, if they're resi- if they are no good to sunlight, I'm also not good to sunlight, so that's going to be an interesting dynamic. Yeah, and I only have an hour of sunlight. Mm. So Just might want to save that for like the battle if there the is battle. One. Yeah, yeah. Mimi's like you might want to like save your sunlight for like a big evil bad thing. Big agree. Big agree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, we're going to have to keep a very present watch around because they can appear out of thin air. Ooh. They can disappear when they're not attacking and appear when they are. <clears throat> Isn't that invisibility? Mm, it, it felt more like that they were shifting uh, planes almost. Hmm. Like maybe because they show up where the the veil is thin between the Fey and our realm, so maybe uh-huh. they're they're only bringing a little bit of little bit of themselves into this realm to attack. Hmm. <clears throat> At least that's how it seemed last night. Okay. Well, maybe Take an intelligence um... check real quickly. Okie dokie. Let's see how well this goes. Intelligence plus one is. Four. That's all you got. I got a three plus one. Your theory should is I, solid. <laughs> question, DM: Is now an appropriate time to use my inspiration? It's totally up to you. <laughs> but you are so sure that they are like oh, plane God. shifting every time they attack. You are so sure. No, I'm gonna keep my inspiration. Aww. <laughs> I have I, doubts. I'm like uh, that was a that was a check though, right? That was an intelligence check, yeah. I could guidance myself to possibly get over a ten. I got ten. <laughs> if that helps at all. <laughs> Am I still as positive? Not as positive anymore. But you do remember that they weren't, they never tried, they didn't try to shift very often, and it wasn't really a shift, it was more like they like popped around, and only when it was was shadowy or shaded. They couldn't do it, so when the daylight spell came up, they couldn't do it at all. Okay, I will relay this information. Now that I think about it, yeah, maybe they... They like pop back and forth through the shadows. Yes. Like they that. can maybe step through shadows. Maybe. I mean, yeah. and if if it's like a disappearing, reappearing thing, I'm pretty sure Wink and Keith have a 
decent enough understanding of that that they can help us out. Maybe. Right, Keith? Yeah. I wasn't paying any attention. What? That's okay. Or we'll... If a if monsters go invisible, you can kind of help us out because you can also go invisible. And it's not like you can see another creature when you're invisible, but you go invisible enough that you know what other what to do when you are invisible, right? Sure. Yeah, you got this. You got this. He's got this. Now that that conversation's had, I am so, so sad. I swapped my, my fighting style to get rid of blindsight. <laughs> that would come in so clutch right now. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. But I wanted to be more cleric-like. <laughs> Literally, that's what I swapped it for. The cleric fighting style. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh. So which way are you headed? Into town? Or into spooky In, town? Into Vermilion, I believe. Vermilion? Okay. Vermilion. Into dead town. Crustacean <laughs> yes. town. All right. In that case, gathering up your camp and all of the courage you can muster, you make your way back into that haunted, abandoned town, up the road, that towards that dying tree in the middle of the middle of the yard in front of the mayor's house. And that is where we will end it tonight. All right, okay. switchblades, keep your edge. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like that name. That's fun. I do too. I really do. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I love it.